I'm Dr. Geeta and I'm Zainab. We are from Dental 101 and today we'll be discussing with you on how to manage an angry patient. It'll be useful for your OSCE scenarios and also real life. So the first thing is you want to listen to the patient. They've obviously walked in upset, angry and want to get something off their chest. So it's your job to listen and make them feel heard. The very important thing is empathy. So obviously your patient is upset, he's angry about something. So please show that empathy, not only in your voice, but also in your expressions. Give them the word that I'm so sorry this has happened to you. Use phrases like that, which might help calm them down. The next point is reassurance. You wanna reassure that the patient that they're here today and you wanna do something to help them. You can use phrases like, look, you're here now, I understand you're in pain. Let's try, let me see what I can do to help you. At the end of the day, it is still an OSCE, so no matter if your patient is angry, he's screaming, he's shouting, remember, it's still an OSCE. You need to bring them back to the point. Once you settle with their anger and they're dealt with their upsetness, bring them back to the point, tell them about your management and your treatment plan and what you'll be doing from there. Um, in an OSCE exam situation, the examiner might act quite aggressive or intimidating. Um, don't let that scare you. You stay confident with your answer and your treatment plan and management. Again, he's angry or upset, so don't be coerced into doing something or giving a management that you shouldn't ideally be doing just to keep him calm and prevent him from being upset. And whatever you say, you want to give the rationale behind why you're giving a treatment plan or why you are suggesting a certain management. Um, just reassure the patient because they're obviously a little bit skeptical now if they've already had a bad experience. No doubt an angry patient can be quite scary for you, especially when it's an exam situation and you're in the OSCEs. But remember, keep these few pointers in mind and hopefully that should help you sail through your OSCE and also deal with your angry patient effectively. Until next time. Bye. Bye-bye. As you know, we are always endeavoring to make your professional journey as smooth and helpful as possible. So if you think of any videos or any topics that you would like us to discuss about, please feel free to drop it in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Please hit the like and subscribe button down below.